After 51 years with the Associated Press, legendary photojournalist Nick Ott is retiring. Ott is widely known for his Pulitzer Prize-winning shot of Kim Fook, who became known as Napalm Girl, but less known is the story behind his career. Ott's older brother, Hun Thanh Mai, was killed covering the Vietnam War working for the AP. At his funeral, Ut approached AP managers about a job. He wanted to follow the footsteps of his brother. The 15-year-old was quickly turned down. They told me, too young, go home. After weeks of pestering, Ut was hired to work behind the scenes. Decided they would bring Nick into the AP with one understanding, and that was that Nick would not cover combat. That plan wasn't to be. Peter Arnett was an AP war correspondent in Vietnam. Interestingly enough, the war came to Nick Hood. In 1968, fighting broke out near Ut's home, turning the 17-year-old into a combat photographer. Then on June 8, 1972, Ut witnessed a South Vietnamese napalm attack on a group of women and children. I saw a girl with her arm running, screaming. The photo editor, visiting photo editor from Japan, came out with a strip of film in his hand. And he handed him a magnifying glass, so almost very professionally was going over it and sort of gasping. This picture revealed the kind of details that were an integral part of what the war had been about, which made it so significant. Ud says that photo honored the memory of his brother. Hey, when I picked a napalm, I think about my, my brother right away. I said, this picture, I think, for my brother. That picture changed the war. It also changed the life of Kim Fook. <laughs> a friendship that has endured to this day. I call him uncle. You call me uncle, uncle. uncle. Nick. <laughs> I think I have a Fook daughter. traveled to Miami last year for a series of laser treatments to remove the scars from that napalm attack. <laughs> Ut was there to document his subject again. You did it. We're all done. From hell to Hollywood is how Ut sums up his 51-year career. After working in Asia, Ut settled in Los Angeles, where he's taken images of practically every A-list celebrity who walked a Hollywood red carpet or entered a courtroom on the wrong side of the law. He was the only photographer to capture a crying Paris Hilton on her way to jail. And that picture was made Believe it or not, 35 years to the day that he made the picture of Kim Fook. But celebrities became fond of Ut, including Hilton. Hey, Nick, just wanted to say congratulations. Seen here wishing him a happy stuff. retirement. He will be missed. He will be missed. Current and former colleagues say Ut's consistent high-value work is a testament to his character. He didn't give up. He didn't quit. He didn't rest on his laurels. He just kept bringing it. And he had bravery. He would go anywhere to get a picture. He's a good networker. He talks to people. He's helpful. <laughs> now, as the 65-year-old Ut heads into retirement, he still plans to take photos as a hobby. Joshua Plogel, The Associated Press.